Hello, good morning friends and welcome to today's Easy Yoga Flow. Today is going to be a class if you are new to yoga to really stretch throughout our side body. We're going to work through our muscles and joints and energize our body. So if you're ready, let's go ahead and maybe grab a couple blocks for props and modifications and let's begin. Let's start, get started today at the back of our mat. Tucking your toes underneath, making sure all 10 toes are tucked under. Placing your hands with your fingertips facing towards your knees. And just start to move side by side here, closing your eyes, letting your neck and head be loose and relax here. So wiggling our hips as we wake up the joints and our wrists and our fingertips. Really feeling that stretch, maybe a slight bend in the elbows to go even deeper. Relaxing the shoulders away and down from the ears. Maybe pulsing forward and back. So feeling a different type of stretch throughout the front of our palms here. This is a great way to start your day. Release any tension, stiffness in the shoulders, in the hips, in the arms. And remember, each day is a new opportunity. So yoga is all about discovering yourself. Slowly untuck your hands. Hop into a yoga squat here, placing your hands between your knees so your palms are together, opening your hips wide out. Place your hands on the mat and start to open up in a moving malasana yoga squat. So opening out the outer edge of your hip and foot at the same time, and then doing the other side. Going as slow or as fast as you need. Getting really deep into our hips here and the outer edges of our ankles. Feeling a nice shoulder stretch every time you come to the side. Just inhaling and exhaling through this movement. And discovering yourself in yoga. Taking that experience on the mat and also applying it off the mat. Discovering new opportunities that your body can do. Holding your yoga squat, placing your palms together holding your hips and your knees wide out, as wide as your mat, going deeper into your squat. Tailbone close to the ground as possible. Exhale, hands down. Step back into child's pose as you sit your hips back to your heels. Inhale, arch forward. And exhale, sit back in your child's pose. So doing a moving cat and cow, starting to wake up the spine. Inhale, rounding forward. Exhale, dropping the belly as you arch back into child's pose. One last one. Inhale. Exhale, drop the belly, look up. Sit back into your child's pose. Reaching the arms as far forward as you can, feeling a beautiful stretch throughout your shoulders here. Sitting the hips back to your heels. Roll forward into tabletop position and come into gate pose, placing your right toes to point towards the back of your mat as you reach the right arm over your head, looking up towards that right arm, feeling a nice, beautiful side body stretch through that right side, closing your eyes, letting your head be heavy and relaxed here, stretching it out, engaging those thighs, Breathing in and exhaling, stretching the arm far forward even more through every exhale. Taking one last breath in and then slowly raising that right leg about hip distance, still keeping your arm over your head here. So starting to work through the muscles of our right leg, engaging those thighs and those quads. Breathing in, still looking up towards that arm if you like. And exhale, grabbing that right leg with your right hand and just opening up that right hip. 
bringing the heel closer to your glute, and then raising it up towards the sky. Balancing on our left hand and our left knee. Exhale, slowly release out. Come back into gate pose, and then pivot into tabletop position as you shift your body weight forward into puppy pose, resting your forehead on your mat, your hips are stacked directly over your knees. And just relaxing, sinking deeper to your mat here. So adjusting this position to whatever serves you best today. Really sinking that chest far forward to your mat. Feeling a nice opening through your shoulders, through that upper back. And coming out into tabletop position as you pivot over to the other side into gate pose, pointing the left toes back, reaching the left arm over your head towards the front of the mat. Fingertips active, really reaching nice and long here. Feeling that nice opening through the left side, looking up towards that arm. Closing your eyes, letting your mind be clear of all thoughts, not worrying about that to-do list, just being here in your yoga practice, discovering yourself. And then lifting your left leg up about hip, hip height, so really active in the leg by flexing that foot. Feeling the muscles engaging, so squeezing so that you can see the muscles active in that left leg. Feeling the glutes. And then grabbing that left leg with the left hand and opening up that left quadricep even more. Bringing the left heel to your glute and then reaching it up. Maybe looking up towards the, the sky over the left shoulder. Slowly release. Come back into gate as you pivot over into tabletop position, tucking your toes, shifting back into downward facing dog, walking out your downward dog, bending one knee at a time as you straighten the other leg and bring the heel as close to the earth as possible. Feeling a nice stretch through the back of your legs, through your hamstrings and your ankles. Letting the feet be super grounded here, letting the hands be grounded. So in downward dog, it's all about our feet and our hands and the rest we discover within time. So if it's too much on the back of the hamstrings, feel free, you can always keep your knees bent, modifying whatever's best for you. Letting your head shake it out and be heavy here and then holding your downward dog still, pushing the hips back, breathing in, slowly walking your feet one at a time into standing forward fold at the top of your mat, letting your head be heavy. Just breathing in, holding the spinal stillness in your body and slowly make your way up into standing position as you reach your arms up towards the sky. Exhale, hands to your heart. Just take a moment, standing in your mountain pose, feeling nice and tall and grounded with both of your feet together. Engaging your core. Inhale as you reach your arms up towards the sky. Exhale, slowly fold it down towards your mat. Inhale as you halfway lengthen your spine. And exhale, stepping back, plank position, dropping your knees, and coming down, modified chaturanga chest first. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, push it back, downward facing dog. Taking a moment here, feeling the stillness in your downward facing dog. Looking to the front, bending the knees. Step or hop to the front, standing forward fold. Inhale, halfway lengthen. Exhale, fold it down. Inhale, stand up, reach and look up towards the sky. Exhale, hands together. And again, we inhale, reach the arms up. 
Exhale, swallow and dive it down to your mouth. Inhale, halfway lengthen. Exhale, stepping both your feet back into plank position, dropping the knees, coming down chest first, chaturanga. Inhale, baby cobra, or extending the elbows into upward facing dog. And exhale, pushing it back, downward facing dog. Inhale, as you step your right leg forward, coming into high lunge, reaching the arms up towards the sky, extending that back leg, going really deep into our legs, our lower body here, reaching the arms up towards the sky, inhaling, and exhaling, taking our hands down to our heart as we come into low lunge. Coming up, inhale, high lunge. Exhale, hands to prayer, low lunge. Inhale, push up into high lunge. Exhale, prayer hands. So moving our arms with this motion here, working through our upper body, keeping those back toes tucked. One last one, inhale, high lunge. Exhale, coming down, prayer hands in low lunge. And placing the left hand down, pivoting the right foot, outer edge of your mat, coming into lizard pose. Maybe pushing that right hip out with your right hand. Feeling this nice opening and lifting your right arm up towards the sky here, looking up towards that right hand. So we're in a lizard variation. Making sure the outer edge of your right foot is on the outer edge of your mat, so you're really feeling this opening here. slowly release coming back into low lunge stepping back high plank dropping the knees chaturanga inhale upward facing dog or baby cobra exhale downward facing dog inhale as we step our left leg forward reaching up into high lunge pushing the back wall with our right heel so we're on those back toes, going deep into our front leg here, activating the legs, inhale. Exhale, knee down, low lunge, hands to prayer. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, coming down with our knee, hands to prayer. Inhale, reaching up. Exhale. So matching our movement with our breath here, staying totally focused and in tune to how our body is feeling, how our mind is feeling. Inhale, exhale down. One last one as you inhale, high lunge, exhale, hands to prayer, low lunge as you drop the right hand down, coming into lizard, rolling the left outer edge of your foot towards the left edge of your mat, and using that left hand to Push your left thigh out towards the side, feeling that nice opening and reaching your left arm up, looking up towards that left hand, feeling that opening through the left side of your body, through the left shoulder, just breathing into this, making sure your right arm is extended within that elbow. Slowly releasing the hand, coming back into low lunge, step back, plank position. This time, see if you can take a full chaturanga down. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Breathe it out. And stepping your left leg forward into high lunge, reaching the arms up. Exhale, pivoting into warrior two. Your arms are in a T, bending that front left leg, going deep into that leg here. Inhale, take your right hand towards the outer right leg and place your left arm to reach towards the back of your mat. Still bending nice and low with that front leg. We're in a peaceful warrior looking up. Exhale. 
Inhale, coming into extended side angle as you rest your left forearm on your left thigh. Inhale, peaceful warrior. And exhale, extended side angle. So we're opening up through both sides of our body. As we inhale, peaceful warrior. And exhale, extended side angle. And every time looking up towards that upper arm, really lengthening through the side. Imagine yourself growing taller here. Extended side angle, holding your extended side angle. Coming back into warrior two, looking over that front arm. Exhale, warrior two, other side. So right toes turned out looking over your right arm, going deeper into that front leg here, engaging and opening that thigh out towards the side, squeezing that core in, squeezing the belly. Inhale, peaceful warrior. Left hand on the outer edge of your left leg, reaching far down the leg, reaching the right arm up towards the sky, and exhale. Extended side angle. Inhale, coming back into Peaceful Warrior. Still going deep with the front leg. And as you exhale, extended side angle. Keeping that front knee bent. Moving through this. Starting to feel the heat in your body here. Pushing yourself to make it through this practice because you can do it. Your mind is stronger than you think. One last one, great job. Building lots of muscle throughout our lower body. Exhale, holding your extended side and we'll really reach. Coming back into warrior two. And pivot into high lunge, reaching the arms up towards the sky, towards the front of your mat now. Exhale, hands down. Stepping back, plank position, chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Sinking those hips back towards your heels. Making sure all the weight is pushed back with your butt. So no pressure, no weight in the front body. Making this feel nice with the stretch. Feel free to bend the knees. And slowly bend your knees to the mat, crossing one leg over the other in a tabletop variation. And take it down for one and two, three, extending the elbows. One last one, four. Releasing the legs, sitting back into child's pose, resting your forehead on the mat, reaching the arms far forward. Coming out of your child's pose and placing your feet towards the front of you, soles of the feet are together, into butterfly, grabbing the outer edges of your feet Crossing your fingers together, sitting up nice and tall, closing your eyes here, feeling a nice opening in your chest. Start to move your butterfly, your wings, by opening up the hips deeper. So flapping the wings here, up and down, feeling a nice deep release. And slowly hold still in your butterfly position sitting up nice and tall with your back and releasing all the way down, making your way into happy baby by taking the soles of the feet to face towards the sky, grabbing the outer edges of your feet or your two big toes. You can also just grab along your ankles or the outer edges of your knees if you can't reach towards the feet and start to rock your happy baby side to side, bringing your knees as close to your armpits as you can, feeling a nice, receive, uh, nice 
relaxing hip opening here, receiving a nice self massage through your back by moving side to side here, feeling that on your spine. slowly holding your happy baby bringing those knees even closer to the mat as possible release hug your knees to your chest bringing your forehead to your knees and make your way into shavasana our final stage of relaxation the most important pose relaxing your mind relaxing your body just letting your body be as is. short on time and ready to come out, wiggle your fingers and wiggle your toes, deepening your breath as you reach your arms up and over your head, pointing those toes, still keep the eyes closed, placing the soles of your feet on the mat and rolling over to your right side. And using your bottom hand to push your weight up into a cross-legged position, sitting nice and comfortable for you, still trying to keep the eyes closed. Inhale as you reach and open the arms out and wide towards the side and reach them up till your palms come together. Exhale, hands to your heart and again inhale, open up the arms towards the side, towards the Sky, nice and tall, palms together. Exhale, hands to your heart. Thanking yourself for taking this time for being here today. I hope you enjoyed and remember to keep discovering yourself and practicing your yoga, making this a daily habit. This is the best thing you can do for yourself when you wake up. Come and join me next time on the mat. Subscribe to Yana Yoga. Namaste.